feel that in some area of your life your patience is been tested and it's happening from roughly the beginning of the month of march and you have been feeling that there is a change which is likely to happen and you did something on those lines to make that change happen but then mercury went retrograde and you felt that hopefully there is something better which is lined up for me in the near future or in somewhere in the far in the distant future that we always desire and because of that you decided to revoke a certain path which you had decided in the month of march by the end of march and now the road which is there ahead is clear to you but you are not yet sure of the plan which will lead you to that road all right so if any of that is happening to you then you are at the right place because today we are going to discuss about the transit of mercury into the sign of pisces which will be there for around 20 25 days all right and this is a very important transit because of many reasons we'll discuss about this here all right and there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then you could subscribe to it down here and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit or any other area of your life then you could go down to my website to book a reading with me you'll find the link to the website down in the description section of my videos okay and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so what happened mercury recently some time back actually went retrograde from the sign of pisces and pisces is the sign where mercury gets debilitated now i have discussed this many many times exaltation does not mean good and debilitation does not mean bad exaltation means the awareness is very high debilitation means the awareness is low so what does it what does it mean when you say that mercury is debilitated see to understand the nature of debilitation for any planet you have to exactly know what the planet is and what its agenda is and what is the characteristic of that sign where it gets exalted or debilitated so now what's happening is mercury is transiting in pisces now what what mercury is basically mercury in essence if you want to summarize it mercury represents the plans that we make to lead a good or so called good or happy or nice life in this material world not which is nice according to somebody else or according to the scriptures nay what is nice according to us how we want our life to be that's what mercury is that's what mercury represents and that involves a lot of planning and when mercury is well placed then the person you will see he can plan things in a way which does not necessarily make his life good but he can plan it in a way that he thinks that maybe this is something which is very good for me now that could be good or bad according to the standards of the society that's a separate topic but what he thinks is good and bad for him accordingly he plans it so now what happens is <coughs> when mercury is very well placed the person has a desire to work towards his own betterment in a way that he can plan things at the same time if the whole chart is not supporting then it could happen that the person has too many expectations because mercury is very calculative that is why it gets exalted in virgo but now what happens in pisces pisces is the sign where you realize that even if i plan things can go wrong sometimes <coughs> so now when mercury transits into pisces what happens you have your own desires you have your own perfect plan of what you think will give you the highest level of happiness or pleasure or financial gain or any any gain of any sort but then pisces tells you 
that not all of your plans can work but the question is why do you feel like that because when mercury enters pisces it could give you a vision of the things which you planned what what will happen if it doesn't work like that what will happen if this goes wrong what will happen if that goes wrong what will happen if i do not get the results of uh, the actions which i have taken in the last two weeks or in the last week to be more precise what will happen now this does not mean there is an unnecessary fear it simply means that during mercury's transit into pisces we should try to understand that things always may not go our own way or other than saying it may not go i would say it does not need to go the way we want them to be because generally things do not work out the way we want them to most of the times it works out the way that it is destined according to our own karma now you will always see this that people say that oh whatever happens happens for good and you will see see that if something bad or something negative happened to us 10 years back then we often try to justify that bad or not so nice thing which happened 10 years back by seeing a success which happened last year so we can always justify it like this oh actually you know 10 years back this college rejected me so because of that last year i got admission into this college so that's that's the outlook which generally people have now my point here is that whatever is destined according to your karma that happens at the end that's what destiny is and your free will comes into play by seeing how you react to what is destined all right i have said this many times free will and destiny are not in competition people always think that free will is the measure to which the extent to which you can change your existing infallible karma no that's not what free will is free will means to the extent you react to your karma which is destined which you cannot change so when mercury transits into pisces you will realize that you need to exercise your free will in a right way you just cannot react to everything in the way you think you should react because if you do that then there could be repercussions which simply means that you need to let things reveal as its own course you need to have faith in the universe you need to have faith in god not that you will always be good or happy but you will be the way you should be according to your karma which is resonating with your universal vibration so that faith is required when mercury enters the sign of pisces and thereby you need a lot of patience also because to work in a detached manner to assume that everything that i want may go wrong and still take the hard work to do what you still want to do that is difficult <laughs> and that's what the lesson of mercury's transit into pisces is and it's going to be a very important transit because now is the time that there is a plan ahead in your journey which you might have noticed but you still don't know what exactly are the steps that will lead you there but you still have a idea that one day maybe i go there and this will depend on the houses which mercury is ruling how mercury is placed in your birth chart and which planets are in the sign of pisces and how jupiter is placed in your chart all right and that has to be dealt at the individual level when we see your horoscopes okay so there you go if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you like this video share this with somebody who is getting too much obsessed about having a game plan in the near future and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you want a reading from me then you can go down to my website you will find it in the description section okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye